So you follow some signals or you want to copy signals, you're part of multiple signal groups and you want to copy those into your prop firm accounts, into your personal accounts without having to touch anything. Well, let me show you how. So now let's imagine I'm your signal provider. I give you a signal, Bitcoin, it's got multiple take profits and signal gets sent. And then as you can see across all the platforms, that trade is being copied instantly into the accounts. Now, what if that signal provider, they say modify TP2 and you want to put it at 61,500. As you can see in all the platforms, that trade is being modified. TP2 is now modified. And then your signal provider says, hey guys, we're all in profit. Let's now close this trade. And just like that, all your trades are closed. Now, let me tell you how you can do this. So guys, what you've just seen there is a demonstration of my new Telegram copiers that go from Telegram to Match Trader and Telegram to Trade Locker. It also does exist Telegram to MT4 and MT5. That one isn't so new. It's been around for a long time, but that is also available. If you're somebody who's part of signal groups or you want to start copying from different telegram channels then this is going to be the tool for you okay maybe you want to copy it into your prop firm account now many prop firms as you know they do not support mt4 mt5 anymore so now you can copy directly into those accounts now if you want to get a hold of these copiers then you have to go to my website which is down in the description below danetrades.com you can try them all for free, no sign up needed. Just go on the website, scroll down, and you will see a place where you can download the demo. What you should know is you can copy to an unlimited number of accounts, okay? An unlimited number of match trader accounts or trade locker or MT4 and MT5. And there's also no limit on how many signals or how many signal channels that you can copy from. All that is required is that you have to be a member of that Telegram group and that's it. Once you set the copier up, it will automatically read all of the groups that you're in and you can choose which ones you want to copy from. Now, what I'm going to do is in this video, I'm going to just go over how you can set this up and go over some of the key features. So let's jump into the video. Now, what I'm going to show you is how you can connect your Telegram to the Dane Trades Telegram app. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the Telegram settings and go to connection. And then you're going to want to enter your phone number, the same one that you've used to sign up to Telegram. So I'm going to do that here. Now, once you've done that, you're going to hit this submit button and you should get a code that gets sent to your Telegram. Now, once you've got that code, you're going to want to copy and paste that code into the enter the receive code field. And then you're gonna to want to click login. Now, as you can see, it will say that Telegram has been connected and I am now logged in. If you are somebody who has two-factor authentication set up on your Telegram, then this password field will come up and it will say that you need to enter your password. If that happens, then enter your password for your Telegram and then click on login. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you want to then connect to your match trader or your trade locker. So to do that, if you go down to the bottom where you've got match trader settings or trade locker settings, go to connection. And then here, this is where you're going to input your credentials for your prop firm or for your broker that exists on Match Trader or Trade Locker. Now, once you've entered in your credentials, hit the login button and your accounts should load up. Now, make sure that you tick the account that you want to copy to. Now, you can select more than one account. So, if you do have multiple accounts here, you can select one, two, or all of them if you want. Okay, there are no limits on the number of accounts that you can copy to. So now that you've got both of these um, connected, there's one more stage that you need to do to actually enable copying. The final stage is you now need to select 
what Telegram rooms you are copying from. So to do that, if you go to channels and here you will see a list of all of the Telegram channels that you're a part of. Um, if you want to see a group or private chat, then you can tick those and they will appear here as well. You can select as many channels as you want. So there are no limits. You can copy from as many signal rooms as you want. And it's completely up to you. But for this test, I'm just going to choose one of my um, testing trading channels. Once I've selected that, I then need to click start copying. If you've done everything correctly, if you look down at the status, you will see that it now turns green and it says Telegram and Match Trader copying. So now that they're both connected, everything is ready to go. Let's now load up my Match Trader and let's start sending some signals. So what I've actually decided to do is connect all three of the Telegram copiers, one to Match Trader, one to MT4, MT5, and the other to Trade Locker. And I'm going to show you this working to all three at the same time. So just before you get copying, okay, the settings that you want to check are the risk settings. So if you go to the general tab and then you go to risk percent, it will be set to one by default. Now, of course, you can change this, but by default, you will be risking 1%. And also keep in mind that the risk share for TP1, TP2 and TP3 by default is set to 100. So if you take a trade that has three TPs, you're going to be using 1% on each TP. So that's a 3% risk. The default copier settings, they should work for the majority of signals. So let's jump in and show you what a signal will look like and how that goes into the platforms. So here I've got a basic Bitcoin signal, stop loss and three TPs. Let's enter that now and see what happens. So there you go, we've got our signal in and as you can see, all the platforms has entered the signal automatically within just one or two seconds. OK, so there's a signal. Now let's just close this trade. So your signal provider, they say, OK, we're in profit, guys. Close the trade. So we'll just type close here. And then there you go. You see that it closed all three of the trades across all the platforms. So that was just a basic buy signal. And then, you know, the signal provider saying close. Um, they can say close positions or hit TP, close positions. But of course, if your signal provider modifies a signal, so they say, hey, modify TP1, then TP1 will be modified. If they say modify TP3, it will be modified. If they say you need to move to break even, your trade will be moved to break even. You can take partials. There's so many features that this has. OK, now let's jump into the copier settings and let's see uh, what settings that you have available to you. Now let's go through some of the key features that the Telegram app has. And first of all, we'll start off in the general tab. In the general tab, we have many options here. I'm only going to pick out a few, um, but there's many more that we can go through at a later time. First of all, you have the ability to have a channel filter. So even though you're copying, you know, maybe five different channels on this particular account, you may only want to enter trades from a particular channel, then you can do that. You can filter out the channel. You may also have the same idea when it comes to symbols. So you might want to only copy signals from specific symbols. And so you've got a exclude symbol filter here. Now, if we scroll down from here, OK, you've got more options here. You can ignore signals with no stop loss or you can choose to ignore signals with no TP or both. If you've got a signal provider and they don't provide you a stop loss, you may not want to enter the trade. So you can tick ignore signals with no stop loss and all of those signals, they will be ignored. What you can do with that as well is you also have the options to override the TP or override the stop loss. So for example, over here in the signal, I've got a stop loss and some take profit levels. 
well, I can override those. I don't have to use their stop loss and take profit levels. Okay, if I use override TP1, TP2 and TP3, I can say, okay, TP1, I want it to be 30 pips. Um, TP2, I want it to be 40 pips. And TP3, I want it to be 50 pips. Okay, now you might also say, now for my stop loss, I want a stop loss of 30 pips. And then what that will do is it will ignore the stop loss and take profits from your signal provider and it will give you your own take profits and stop loss. If you're somebody as well who is copying for prop firms, I know that's obviously a really big thing, then you have an option to do a signal offset as well. So this will add a certain amount of pips to every signal. So that way your trades won't match exactly somebody else's. We also have a uh, max slippage for entry. So if your provider gives you a signal and the entry is too far away from where your price is on your broker, you can choose to ignore that signal. Let's move on to another tab. So here we've got the copy tab. And normally you wouldn't want to touch this, but if you did, then you can choose to copy, you know, only maybe buyers. You can choose to only copy sales, only copy market orders. Um, another good one that you might want to consider is you may want to remove copy modify orders. So some signals are really good, but maybe the way that the person manages it isn't actually the best. So you may choose to not modify your order. So once you're in the order, you do not modify it and you just let it hit your take profit or your stop loss. Now let's move on um, to the signal. So I'll just briefly touch on this. This is all the keywords to help you recognize your signal. So this is something that is fully customizable if your signals are not being recognized. Now I'm gonna have a more in-depth video on this on my website so make sure you check out danetrades.com and if you go to the user guide section you will see more information on how you can customize your signals the final tab is going to be the time tab so here you can choose to only trade on certain days so if your signal gets sent on a day that you don't want to trade you can choose to untick that day you can also choose to close your trades at the end of the day or you can use a time filter and you can specify what hours you want your signals to be taken. Now that is a basic overview of the majority of the features here and the ones that you may want to consider. Now again, if you want more information, head to my website and there will be a written user guide and over time I'll be adding more videos to explain more of the settings.